Guggenheim at Kalman in Achitaya since 1883, which is a balsamic factory. So I'm going to go inside and tell you their story. On my first trip to Canal 9, I was given a very lengthy class on the making and the process of balsamic vinegar. I'm going to give you a very shortened version as I believe that that will suffice for you to understand the following video. For the production of traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena, according to the law, you can use only certain grapes such as Trebbiano, Lambrusco, grapes that are traditionally in the Modena region. The grapes are harvested at the top of their ripening because they need the highest sugar part from the grapes. The must will slow cook for 24 to 36 hours, concentrating the sugars that will be the basis for the fermentation process. Aging in a series of barrels. The production unit is a group of decreasing volume barrels called a battery, usually made of different kinds of woods my favorite is a juniper barrel. Topping and filling is required from bigger to smaller barrels. The finished product is always taken from the smallest barrel. Traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena is bottled in two different agings, 12 and 25 years. Only the product passing the examination of expert tasters is suitable for bottling. The consortium is made up of five people and trust me, you want them to like your balsamic. Hi, this is Giovanna, and so she's going to explain to us more of the process and some of the barrels that we see and some batteries. So Giovanna, you want to tell us what we see here? This is just uh, the beginning of the traditional balsamic vinegar. This is uh, the biggest barrel we have concerning the production of traditional balsamic vinegar. And in these barrels are... We have cooked must. Cooked must, right. So this is the beginning. Yes. Oh, well, uh, this photo uh, is, has been taken outside this window. And the, the small boy is my husband. And the man who is keeping him is the grandfather. And this other one is the other grandfather, and he was a cooper. And in, in here we have many special tools he was using to make the barrels. The, the, the only juniper barrel we have. And from this juniper barrel we have a very, very limited production. Because we have just this only barrel to take the final product. And I think you told me we, you only get 50 bottles a, a year. year. Yes. Yes. Wow, that is very, very small amount. Exclusive. Yes, yes. This is a very peculiar product, and uh, but we have just this amount, this amount of balls because we have just one barrel. This is a battery of ten barrels each. This is the the biggest one. That is the smallest one. We have three of this battery of ten barrel each, and from this. Three battery. We have our fine, our top product, Vittorio, but that we have only 100 bob a year. Why we have only 100 bob a year? Because we take just the product from the final product from the small barrel, the three small barrel over there. Right. Now, tell me about the oblong barrels over there? They, they were the barrel of the grandfather. They are more than 100 years old, but you know, uh, as far as traditional balsamic vinegar more than old, it doesn't mean good, of course, because what, what happened? That barrels over there, they passed to World War. And do you think that the grandfather during the World War, he had in mind to make filling and topping and to put the fresh mass in the biggest barrel? I don't think so. I think he was just looking after his life. So what happened? That barrels remain with their liquid inside for many years, for the time of the war. 
they give a very good product, but not our best. Our best product is coming from this three series of battery that my husband started in 1960 about. Because he didn't have a war to worry about. No. Yeah. So every year he he's making he was making filling and topping and putting the fresh mass in the biggest barrel. You know, a traditional is really very, very good. Is every year you make filling and topping and you put the fresh mass in the biggest barrel. That is that is a an amazing story. Yes. That is that's awesome. That's that's quite something. So tell me about the barrels that you have in this room. Yeah. Here we have other barrels, of course, that were barrels of the grandfather, some of the barrels of the grandfather as well. And here, oh, sorry, so sorry, they are more deep over here. These barrels, they come from East Europe. Why they are coming from East Europe? Because nowadays in Italy, it's very difficult to find handmade barrels. So my husband, what he did many, many years ago, he went to Romania, he went to a wood, he chose some tree, he had it cut it, and he brought to a local cooper. He left the wood age for some years, then he came back and he had the barrels done. And these are the barrels, from, from this barrel we are taking a product of at least 12 year, and it has it is our top line for our at least 12 year product why is our top line because this has different characteristic respect inverted comma regular one why is different characteristic because it's different as the wood right and um what's special about these batteries to you <laughs> this well this room is 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 all the room is special for me. Why? Because this is my family room. Because all that barrels over there, they have the name of my mother. And this barrel here, they have the name of my father. They found each other. And sometimes I fancy they can even quarrel sometimes, you know, here. Here, this is my father-in-law, my mother-in-law. Uh, aunt and uncle. This is the family room, you know. Uh, we have all the barrels with name of our family. What's the name of this one? Johnny. Johnny. It's my father. You talk to these barrels? Yes, of course. I'm talking, you know, I'm even shivering a little bit why I'm talking to you of this because, uh, you know, it's uh, something that I really feel, deeply feel inside because, uh, you know, it seems to me that when I come here, it seems to stay with my relatives. I understand that. I um, I think I'd spend a lot of time here. Yes. I, there's something about tradition, yep. being passionate about what you do, and having such a close connection and even naming it after yes. your relatives. Yes. So tell me where Franco comes from. Come, Franco comes from this room, because uh, from the Romanian barrels. And who was Franco? Franco was my father-in-law. He was the father of my husband. And, uh, well, he was helping him with the, with the traditional. And uh, so when we thought to name a product, uh, a top product we thought to him. Um, Franco, uh, I purchased for me the last time I was here, and I, I, I purchased several. Um, you can tell how important you are when you come to my house if I let you have a drop because I won't share it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's that important to me. Um, I don't share my Franco. <laughs> <laughs> you keep on for yourself. I do. Well, well so, you, you have you have to buy another bottle so no, you can I share have, with other people. <laughs> I don't know if I'll share. <laughs> um, so I had to ask you that question, but uh, I had to come back to see you 
because I wanted to capture your story. But I also, um, I just wanted to smell these barrels one more time. And I wanted to visit this particular room one more time because this room is very special to you. Yes. The smell of this room is different than any other room. Yes. And it's beautiful. And for me... Thank you for coming. For me, the passion that you have, I think other people should know. I think everyone in the world should know about your balsamic. Well, we, we are really proud of our product because, you know, this is a tradition. It starts from, yeah, has been always here, you know, this tradition. Is a love, is a sickness. I am honored just to be able to have tasted your product. Um, I'm so glad that you um, have started importing your product to the United States. For us, we import it to the United States um, and that we can get it there because, I mean, for us in the United States to be able to just taste something that comes from something that is so loved and so special. People need to have it. They need when to know I hope. you. They need to know Giovanna. They need to know you and the love that you put in this because people don't have that kind of passion for what they do anymore. Yes, I I can imagine. I can imagine this, but you know, this is just is is this is the family. This is linked to our family, to our origin. This is it's, a, it's part is something part of us. I just want to come back and thank you for that. You do um, something that is pretty special. Well, I I could kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me back. I well, really it has been a pleasure for me. This is a known honor, you know. I am so proud. And I'm proud of you. I wish there were more people like you. Thank you. <laughs>